How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another reflex bag workout for beginners. My name is Jonathan Allen. I am an amateur boxer as well as a boxing coach here in the province of Quebec, Canada. So for this workout, I want to combine working on the reflex bag and body weight exercises. So rounds of two minutes with a minute rest in between the rounds. We'll alternate between working on the reflex bag and then working on body weight exercises. So for example, the first round, two minutes working on the reflex bag. Then we have a minute rest and then we move on to the second round. We combine two body weight exercises. So we start with the first exercise for one minute. Then we do the second one for another minute, total time two minutes. And then we have a minute rest in between. So that, that will be basically how I want to set it up. So working on the reflex bag and then working on body weight exercises. All right, so let's get ready for the first round. For this round, we're going to start with a really basic boxing combo. And that's the one, two, that's your jab cross. Jab is your lead hand and the cross is your rear hand. However, I want you to kind of pretend that the reflex bag is, is an opponent. So I don't want you to stay in front of the reflex bag after the one, two. Make sure you step to the right or step to the left or step back. You know, work uh, on your footwork around the reflex bag. And if you've got a little more experience or if you're interested, you can try to add additional jabs so you can work on your timing. So basically that would be like jab cross, I move a little bit away and I throw in a few jabs and once I'm ready again and I feel I'm you know I'm good to go I start again with the jab cross move around a few jabs and so on and so forth so let's get started Good work everybody, first round is now completed. We have about a minute here to rest, catch on your breath, have some water. You can keep your gloves on or you could remove them if you want to. Like I said before, we are going to move on to body weight exercises for the next upcoming round. So the first exercise and everything is shown on the screen. First exercise is uh, jumping jacks. You do that for one minute and then you move on right away to the second exercise. And that one will be squat to alternating kick. So you squat down as far down as you can. And when you move back up, you'll throw a kick and you basically try to reach your foot with the opposite hand and you go back down to a squat and then that will be the next leg after that. So pretty simple, push yourself as hard as you can to get the best out of this workout. Let's get started in about five seconds.
Good job, everybody. Two rounds completed. It's time to go back on the reflex bag. And again, we go with a simple, easy combo here. It's a jab, jab, cross. That's a one, one, two. And like I said before, and it goes for all the other rounds, make sure you move around your reflex bag. Don't just stand there. Try to move. Pretend it is an opponent. So jab, jab, cross. I move around. I can throw in a few extra jabs. I can work on my timing. And then I'm good to go. And I go back to the jab, jab, cross. I move around. Jab, jab, jab. Something like that. All right? Work on timing. Work on footwork. Work on your coordination. And make sure you keep your hands high the whole time you work on the reflex back. So let's get ready. Once again, great work, three rounds completed. We move on to the fourth one with bodyweight exercises. For this one, I will remove my gloves, but you don't have to. I feel that when I do uh, mountain climbers, which is the first exercise, I feel that I have more control over my wrist, and that's why I'm gonna remove my gloves. Now, mountain climbers is a tough exercise to do for one minute. If you need to take a rest, a few seconds to pause, do so. Remember, it is you versus you, it is not you versus me or me versus you. We, uh, we, we do the best that we can. That's what really matters here. And the second exercise will be the push-up burpees. So you do a burpee and you go all the way down with the push-up. Try to do it in a controlled manner. You don't have to go fast necessarily, but it is an awesome exercise. It works your entire body. So let's get ready.
All right, break time. So take that rest, have some water, and we move on to the reflex bag again. And now this one is a little more complicated. It's still like a beginner stuff, but you might be struggling a little more, but sometimes you need to be challenged a little bit so you can learn. So it's the jab cross, slip to the rear, and then roll to the lead. So you see I am an orthodox boxer. So jab cross, I slip to the right or to the rear. So you move your head away so that the punch can kind of like slip right next to your ear. And then you will roll to the front foot or basically roll to the left. It's a little more complicated. Take your time to do it right. Nice. So, obviously, for some of you, this last round probably was a little more difficult because it's hard to combine punches and then the slipping and rolling. There's a lot of coordination involved, and it's not that easy. But over time, with practice, you'll get better at that. And now we're going to move on to uh, the next round with bodyweight exercises with the tuck to plank. Now, tuck to plank is a tough exercise here. Uh, but again, it's not because you are a beginner boxer that you cannot challenge yourself with bodyweight exercises. The second exercise is close squat to hand tap. So you bring your legs closer than a regular squat. So that's why it's a close stance. And you try to bring your hands basically all the way down to the floor. Make sure you do this in a control manner. We'll start in about five seconds.
We have just completed uh, round number six and we go back to the reflex pack. So for this one, it's a little more complicated. It's the jab cross hook. Why is it complicated? Because it is your lead hook and hitting the reflex bag with your hook is, is a little more difficult than going into a straight line. So jab cross, lead hook, so one, two, three. Um, a lot more precision is required. So my advice here, especially if you haven't done a lot of boxing before, go slow. You don't need to hit the reflex bag really, really hard. Focus on timing the bag so you can actually hit it with your hook. Uh, and if you are getting pretty good at it, then increase the pace and hit a little harder and see what happens. And once again, move away from the reflex bag once you're done. Time. All right, it's time to rest. And if you've been with me the whole time of this workout, would really appreciate if you press on the like button and leave me a comment. Let me know if you like this workout, what else would you like me to do? And uh, I'll read it for sure. Now, body weight exercises. The first one will be alternating lunges. Alternating lunges here. I usually do them slow. Um, I like to do it in a control manner. But again, it depends on, on your level of fitness. Uh, you can go really, really fast if you want to, but I like to keep it under control. And the last exercise for this round will be push-ups. So one minute of push-up might be a long time. So if you feel like you need to take a pause here and there, do so, no worries. There's different types of push-ups. If you're really, really great at it, then you can raise your leg onto a bench or something like that to make it more challenging. Here we go, guys.
Awesome job, everybody. Grab some water, relax, catch your breath, okay? Because now it's time for a finisher. It won't be a full round. It's only one minute, and it's freestyle boxing on the reflex bag. So when I say freestyle boxing, basically you want to do whatever you feel like you want to do on the reflex bag. You can, you can try different types of combos. Uh, you can try to see what happens if you want to throw in an uppercut or a rear uh, hook. Uh, work on your footwork as well, you know? Work around the bag. Timing, coordination, head movement. You can add all of those things in there. You can combine everything. But what I think is most important when we do freestyle boxing is to have a lot of fun. And have fun pretending you're actually fighting somebody. All right, guys. That's the last round. Have fun. That's it. Awesome job. Workout completed. Hope you enjoyed it. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.